Hello guys and girls, it's Lurgs here and today the Volkswagen T5, this is the model 2011 to 2015, the windscreen washer jets are not working. It's really annoying, I'm going to squirt them and they are just not working. I mean I can't even hear the motor whining or anything, so is it a bad motor or what? Let's find out. But be first, let's have a nice cup of tea. Oh, lovely. Right, so I'll show you what is happening at the moment. So let's just put the ignition key in. And on the Volkswagen T5, you pull the lever towards you and then that should engage the washer jets and the windscreen wipers. What's happening is there is no jets of water that the windscreen wipers engage and you can't even hear the windscreen washer motor engaging. You can't even hear it trying. So that could be a dodgy motor or it could be a blown fuse. Now there's some fuses under the dashboard here in the middle, which is under the gear lever and it's not one of those. There's actually another fuse box in the engine bay. So let's go and check this out before we start looking at the windscreen washer motor, which is right down on the right hand side and you have to take a bit of panelling off under the wheel arch. So let's check the fuse box first. Now the fuse box is here next to the battery. So what you need to do uh, is just remove this um, plastic cover which just stops the fuse box moving about. This is just a plastic thread, very easy to undo. So let's just take this off. And this just slides upwards and outwards. And then once you've got that off, there's another just small flat panel, which just lifts up. And I am getting wet here because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain, but we've got to get it done. And the fuse box is here. So you just turn these small levers on either side, anti-clockwise, just, just a quarter of a turn. They don't unscrew, it's just a quarter turn. And then they are released. And then the, the lid just lifts up, which you'll see now. And there we go. And after trawling uh, the internet and looking at various Volkswagen forums, I know that the windscreen washer motor is the 7.5 amp. So before I test everything else, I'm just going to go straight for this one. Now what you can do is you can just take that fuse out and just have a look at it. But if you want to test all the fuses, what you can do is get a multimeter, set it on the lowest ohm setting, and you can test the fuse from the top. Um, and if you've got a reading, that means the fuse is okay. So let me put the, the sensors on the seven and a half one and check the ohm reading on the multimeter. And ooh, that's not good. So I'm thinking that is blown. So what I'll do now, just get a small pair of pliers and just pull this fuse out. This is quite tricky filming with one hand and working on it in the other hand. And let's hold it up to the sky and yay, great news, the fuse has blown. So hopefully a nice easy fix. So let's have a quick cup of tea. Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? Oh, right. Now, I do actually carry fuses with me. So let's... Oh, look, van fuses. Oh, how useful. Right, so let's just have a look in here. Now, what I'm looking for is a 7.5 amp fuse. And the law of SOD says I won't have one. <laughs> and I've speeded this up, but actually I don't have one. And the nearest one I've got is a 10 amp, which is close enough. I will actually go out and get a seven and a half one, but for the time being, a 10 amp will do the job. Obviously don't put a massive one in there because you still want it to blow if there's a problem with the motor. Right, so let's get this fuse back in. Make sure you put it back in the right place. Um, always best to take a photograph if you're removing lots of fuses, then you can refer back to that afterwards. So we've got that fuse back in. So before I put everything all back, let's just um, remove the things from the engine bay, close the bonnet, and then let's just have a squirt. 
<laughs> right, let's go inside the motor, turn the ignition on, and come on! Yay, a victorious! Nice, easy fix. Brilliant. Don't have to change the windscreen washer motor. Now, why that's probably blown is because we've had a really cold spell over in England over here in England, lots of ice, lots of snow, and I expect um, I or my partners tried to squirt it and it's been a bit frozen in the pipes and it's just blown the fuse, which is what it's meant to do. So that is great news. So I'm very happy with that and hopefully you're happy with that as well. And that is a nice easy fix. So just put everything back and that is the end. If you found this video useful, please subscribe. That would be great. I would really appreciate it. And once again, thanks very much for watching and take it easy guys and girls.